You know, I think this is probably going to be the first year I've actually had a date on Valentine's Day. Nice. But I nailed the present. Did you? Oh, yeah. perfect. Well, you, you know, I thought about flowers or chocolates, but it's, it's too predictable. Yeah. You, know? you got to think of something unique for the person that you love. <laughs> and I've come up with it. Nice. Exactly. Please. Sh bird. Oh, the bird. bird. Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. Someone should clean that up. I know. It's There's a nobody mess. around. It died in the most unceremonious and unnatural fashion. Oh, killed by a giant piece of steel and metal traveling down some man-made tracks. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I think it just got caught in a yeah. door. So, uh, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I'm just gonna stay at home at the nice romantic bath for one. Oh. Yeah, maybe have a glass of wine and Valentine's it's Day. The spirit is trapped in this receptacle of humanity. This receptacle of death. Its spirit must be freed. Yeah. Stenches. So what'd you get her? Oh. Crockpot. Scary. It's Friday the thirteenth. That's an omen, right there. Omen. It's a portent of bad tidings. Stepped on it. Oh God. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you got your bad luck out of the way. Oh. Oh. Speaking of bad luck. Oh, what is it? I got this from Ahmed last night at dance class. I think it's car wax or something. Okay. Oh. This is not car wax. This is halva. Halva. Hey. Hey. How's it going? What are you? A clown of the kids' party or something? No, these are for Lana, smart guy. <laughs> Did you see that pigeon? I know, that's disgusting, man. Shouldn't someone you clean know, that up? It was the weirdest thing I saw it happen. The pigeon flew right in as the doors are closing. Whammo! Mm. I thought maybe Ozzy Osbourne was here. No, no, there'd be a chicken then. <sighs> you know what? They should call it Saint Sucker's Day for guys like you. You know why? Because today's the day you have to go back to your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever, and pretend that you actually enjoy chick stuff. Boohoo, just because I have someone. I, these are good gifts, okay? Flowers, been done to death. Jewelry, sends the wrong message. Balloons, say I'm okay, you're okay. Please. You're an angry, angry man. Carterfield? I hope that thing comes with a poem or something, because the only thing romantic about it is the fact that it says here it fits in the dishwasher. Yeah, I don't, un I, I don't get it. No, 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 this is, this is, this is perfect. I'm oh, using yeah. the element of surprise. Oh, she's no. surprised. She's never going to expect this. You know what? Candles surrounding a bed covered with rose petals. Now, that's a surprise. It's cliche. What, what, do we, what do you expect to get out of this, huh? You're going to give it to her, and what do you think she has? Hugs, kisses, showered with affection. Dude, you're going to get a stew. Yeah. A mutton stew out of and this. And maybe the silent treatment for and a, a guy, days. But a good stew? No, she's, on, she's gonna love that she's a chef. This, this is she's like a jewelry woman. to her. She is a woman. How it's many Valentine's nature's Day. creatures have to die before we finally wake up? Wake up and say, we can't go on like this no more. Hmm? That pigeon deserves respect, all right? It died at the hands of mankind, and it needs to stop. That pigeon needs a proper burial so its spirit can go back to the great creator. <laughs> Johnny, it's uh, it's a pigeon. There's hundreds of them. Yeah, they're it's a they're all over rat. the place. They die every day. Yeah. It's just a pigeon. Yeah, it's just a pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just an eagle. 
Just a hawk, just an osprey, just a great horned owl, just a black bear, just a wolf. It's just a lake trout. Hey, don't you, uh, don't you eat lake trout? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You can't eat the pigeon. Have you never had hova? No. This is fantastic. It's like crunchy little love on your tongue. It's delicious. It looks like garden fertilizer to no, me. No, no, no. It's got tahini in here. You know, it's it's ground to up. To what? Tahini. It's ground up sesame seeds with like honey and sugar and all these different spices like, you know, cinnamon or cardamom or the, this has pistachios in it. Sometimes they put chocolate layers over it. It's delicious. You've really? got to open this. Oh, I'm not in the mood. I Thank goodness Marion came back to class last night. She had the gout last week. That's why she couldn't make it. Gout? Yeah, gout. In her feet. In her, yeah, in her foot, her big toe or something. Anyways, that at least meant that Armid wasn't after me. Oh, is that that's from Ahmed, huh? It was a little <laughs> gift from Armid at the end of the class. Well, you're not the only one who got a Valentine's Day gift, huh? Huh? Oh, who's that from? That's from Lori, who works at the deli next door. Oh, ooh la la, mm. someone got a Valentine. Yeah, but she says I can't open it till Valentine's Day, uh, on February 14th. Oh, wait, this is not, this is not a Valentine's. This was an apology. Yes, sure. he said, I'm sorry for <laughs> if I uh, offended you last week. Yeah, with his Russian fingers and Roman hands. <laughs> I'm you know open what this I, now. You can't, it says do not open till the 14th. Yeah, but... Valentine's. It's one day. It smells like perfume. It smells like salami. I haven't seen her in 15 years. We went to high school together. Oh, yeah. really? An old, uh, an old flame, eh? No, 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 no. It wasn't did, like that. Did you do her? No. We were part of a big group of friends. We hung out together all the time. And we were inseparable. There was... There was Smithix, New Newfield, wait, wait a wait, Denman. Was she, was she a cheerleader or something like that? No, no, no. She, uh, mm. she, she's, she's got like a cheerleader body. Well, you know, she's changed a lot in 50 years. I mean, she used to have the Coke bottle glasses and, and like braces with the headgear and a little bit of skin problem. But Yikes. man, we spent all our time together. We we called ourselves a terrible ten. Yeah. Kato. Cotter. Oh my God. Na, 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 na. No, no carborundum. carborundum. How are you? This is what? amazing. I'm, I'm great. What are I'm you good. doing on this train in this province? I mean, I'm living in Oakville. I'm working as an engineer for Get Ford out. Canada. Yeah. Really? Yes. I'm an electrical engineer. I work downtown. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Man. How long has it been? Fifteen long years. That's incredible. Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Ellie Cotterfield, this is Pete Superman. Oh, hi. hi. Nice Pete. to meet you. Nice sorry. to meet you. Oh, bad arm. We went okay. to North Van Collegiate Institute together. Oh, oh my God. Wow. That's, that's nice. So, I, uh, you know what? I've been married and divorced. Okay. Already. Good. I almost got married. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it didn't work out. But. Oh, so <laughs> then who are the. the oh, uh, no one. Uh, no, so uh, I have a girlfriend. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah. It's excellent. Wow. We had so much fun, eh? We did. Do you we remember did. the math club, math the Pascal club. competition? The Latin club. Oh, the la oh Latin that was club. Yeah. Boy, Latin yeah. club, really, eh? Now that sounds fun. Oh, it we was. had such a good time. Do you, Do you remember, remember translating when? Wham, wake me up before you go, go. Do you remember how it went? Um, exitos me, sum, provos, vado, vado. Oh my God, Man. I can't believe that. That was amazing. Yeah. You look great. <gasps> Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. You look great too. Well, no. You look really good. I like the. Ah, the, 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 uh, the, you know it. And then, it works. Thanks. <laughs> You're thanks. welcome. <sighs> Looks like somebody's got a secret admirer. Yeah. Look how she spelled my name. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it's right in everything. <laughs> so who is she? Oh, it's a. Uh, it's this girl named Lori. Uh, there's a, a deli in the convenience store next to the lot where I work, and oh. I go in for coffee and sandwiches every once in a while. And oh, nice. She gave me this. I want to open it. Well, no, you can't. She'd be disappointed. She obviously put the instructions there for a reason, Seymour. Yeah, yeah, but it could be something good, you know? So have you guys dated, or...? Actually, we went out once. 
Oh yeah? Yeah, we went to Niagara on the lake. You know, we went to the Shaw <gasps> Festival, nice. you know, took in a winery tour. It, oh, romantic. We had a fantastic time. Uh, I phoned her the next oh. week though and she didn't seem like she wanted to go out again. Oh, she could have just been busy. Well, that's what she said and I phoned her again and I guess she didn't get the message, but it just... I thought maybe I was getting, you know, the signal, so oh, I backed getting off. The brush off. Well, yeah. no, we live busy lives. Sometimes it takes a while for people to... Well, I know, and then I went in today, and she hands me this. Do not open till February 14th. Well... <laughs> oh, I want to open this. Seymour, that could be bad luck. It's Friday the 13th. Who knows? Why fool with that? Yeah, but it could be something good. You well, know? of course it is. It's in a red envelope. I could get her something then. Hey, anybody got something I can use to wrap up the burden? No. No, no, no. What about no. this? You don't, you don't no, 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 no. You're, you're not taking my. Something? You don't want to touch the bird, okay? No. It's like it's disease. disease. Yeah, the thing probably just flew into the window. No. Hey, no. Did you see the thing? It's got its wing wrapped around its neck. It ain't disease. It's it's mangled. No, it could have right. had a disease before it flew into the window. Okay, Johnny, you know what? You don't touch dead animals. You know what? If if a few people dropped. All right, because of, of a nature's creature getting us sick, then so be it. That's the revenge. A few people. We deserve it. No, no, no. We deserve no, no, no. it for no, no, no. the misery. I was just reading this. 23 people in Thailand in Vietnam have become sick with avian flu. 18 have died. There you go. The federal, That's government, more than a few. federal government is coming out with a plan today. If, if that flu comes here, about a million people in the GTA could be hit by an influenza pandemic. And that could leave at least 420,000 people needing some sort of medical help. Seven, 8,000 would require hospitalization. You SARS was 375 people. Can you, you imagine? You could be responsible for the death of millions. That's right. Well, that's a chance I'm willing to take. Well, wow. Give me this. I'm going to wrap the bird up. Okay, we'll wrap it up well. All right. Here, have some more. But he was amazing at risk. We used to play uh, these tournaments. Oh my God, you'd beat everybody. Yeah, but you know what? You're pretty good at the uh, diplomacy. <laughs> oh, yourself diplomacy! There. She, that was so much fun. She was the queen of setting up treaties and yeah. little alliances. Yeah. And then she wouldn't honor them and stab people in the back. That's the whole point. You're uh, supposed to stab people in the back, and that's why you'd always lose. He had well, great strategy, but then when it came to any sort of treaty or negotiating, he'd fall apart. Yeah, yeah at the last too honorable. Yeah. Too yeah. honorable for going good. Uh, so you were a smart cookie. Well, so were you. you. So you won. The time you beat me in the National Computing Sciences Olympiad. You still remember that? Yeah, oh my and God. the level seven math <laughs> competition. Okay, but he you guys, sorry, but like obviously you guys got along. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, all this time in high school and everything, you guys never hooked up or anything. No. No. Oh, we could have though. Do you remember in grade eleven we went to the Sadie Hawkins dance? Yeah, it's the big group. Yeah, all of us. Remember I called you before we went and asked you what time you were going to be there. Yeah. I was I was going to ask you if you wanted to go with me. <laughs> uh, but you were seeing Kevin Kloppenberg. What? Kevin Kloppenberg, the, the second trombonist in the school band. Well, what do you mean I was seeing? I wasn't seeing him. Yeah, I mean, the Liberals, they are just scrambling. This is a fiasco. Now, what is the deal with that, anyways? Well, the deal is they spent $250 million to potentially $1.3 billion unaccounted for. No receipts. Well, $250 to $1.2 billion? That's well, a pretty a wide hundred, spectrum. Like, there's $100 million that went to a Quebec advertising agency that's unaccounted for. No receipts. But they didn't sign, you know, this is for this promotion. Here it but is. But how do they know it went there? Well, th because it's missing from the budget. It's all, so you know, checks and balances. No, it definitely went there. They had a contract with these guys, but nice. there's no receipts for anything. That's so okay, sketchy. Okay, there's 1.2 billion in Indian land claims. Okay? Yeah. Where's the land? Whose land is it? Who did it go to? What tribe? What nation? Nothing. So I, you scrambling. know what, though? I don't think it matters. I think the Liberals will probably be in power forever. Well, if they keep hiding from these things and keeping them under the radar, mm -hmm. but this one's bubbling to the surface. Yeah. Okay, this? It's gonna last forever, too. Yeah. Well, Sorry. This? What? Bad. Yeah. Bad idea. What, well, then what, what do I do then? You're gonna take this back or give it to your granny or your mom or something, yeah. and you're gonna go and get some flowers and some wine, all the things that you say are cliche, maybe some beautiful earrings or something, and you're gonna save your hide. That's what you're gonna do. I'm not gonna save any money though, that's expensive. Plus, she really would like this, I well, know then it. Keep it for, you know. Do you wanna sleep on the what? couch tonight? No. Okay. You're getting rid of that, and you're gonna use your head. 
and you're gonna get something romantic. Take it from her, she knows. Take it from me. She's had many successful relationships. Thank you, Lucas. What's he up to? Up to? This Make it sound like he's planning some sort of takeover. Well, maybe, maybe he is. <laughs> I mean, who, who gives, who gives a gift to a woman, a woman you hardly know? I mean, especially near Valentine's Day. That could be misconstrued if he wasn't dealing with a sensible gal. Well, thank this God he's dealing with a sensible gal. Well, that's what I think. Oh, so well, very misconstrued. I, mean, I think it is a Valentine's Day gift. You should open it. No, you I'm like not it. opening it. It's, he probably doesn't give women gifts like this in Syria, at least decent women. Oh, please. And you're telling me if he wasn't some white Anglo-Saxon Protestant offering you a plate full of deviled eggs, you wouldn't think it was a, a nice little gesture? Oh, please, don't start with this racist mumbo-jumbo again. Well, well... You should give it a try, and you should give the whole bit a try. I mean, look, at least he's not doing some crazy dance steps out there. He's actually... He's actually a pretty good waltzer, you know? Well, it's probably I mean, got good taste. Good taste in music, in look, women, in no, food. I had, I, no, I tried to get people at work to have some of this stuff. Nobody would touch it with a 10-foot pole. Well, there's it's no one gonna... around to think badly of you if you enjoy it. So why don't you just try a little? Just open it up, just try a little. Just put a little in your mouth, just a little. I mean, he sat beside me once in the cafeteria. Where yeah. we talked about, you know. But you guys were making kissy faces. No, see, because he played trombone, so he was showing me his embouchure. Okay, wait a second. Did, did anyone in your high school ever get laid? Like, did any of any well, of your extended friends ever have sex? None of us not, did. In, we didn't, we didn't do anything like that. Sure, you know, the was, rest of the high school, yeah. But yeah, but we never dated, or no. there was no, there was nothing going on. People didn't no even kiss, you know, tension no or anything. Was, obsessions or anything. Yeah. Well, we almost did. <laughs> Remember? The risk tournament. I drove you home. Yeah, and we, we were sitting in in, in your in the dad's car. car yeah, in front of your parents' for house hours. for hours. It got cold. Yeah, and you gave me your jacket. jacket. Remember? Yeah. And it was so sweet. And then we were saying goodbye. And you yeah. gave me the jacket back, and our hands, hands touched. touched. <laughs> and then you kicked me out of the car and drove off. Well, I, I, I had to. I had to go to the bathroom. I've been waiting for two and a half hours for something to happen, and I couldn't take it anymore, so I had to go. I thought I had done something wrong. You did, you did. You, did. you had two and a half hours to do something right. Well, no, I I thought maybe I was getting no, too close, and you were like, get away, and I didn't want to You weren't getting friendship. too close at all. I was waiting. I didn't know what else to do. I told you I was cold, and... Uh, I mean, we, we were. We didn't know what we were doing. We were kids. No, we were, I was 17. totally embarrassed. I was yeah. so shy. But I was really hoping that, you know... Wow. Brenda, how about now? No. How about now? No. Now? Seymour. How about? Oh, fine, fine. If it makes you be quiet, I'll, oh, I'll try You're gonna some. love this, trust me. Oh, I don't know. This is an orgasmic taste treat. It looks like gravel. Well, what do you? Just dig your finger right in, just grab a piece. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's a weird texture. Yeah. Eh? It's like, I don't know, insulation or something. Huh? Oh. Well, it's really mm -hmm. sweet. Crunchy, a little sweet, savory. Oh. Well, it's very interesting. Yeah. Not such a bad oh. gift, huh? An interesting flavor. You can taste the sesame seeds, mm -hmm. eh? Huh. You got to open your gift, so I'm going to open mine. Seymour, don't. Come on. No, you'll have nothing to open tomorrow. You wake up in the morning, you go, oh, I already opened it. Oops. <laughs> You'll regret it. Hmm, this is really good. Mmm, pistachio. What does it say? Oh, uh, it's good news. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're having, uh, having Rubens on Monday. You can go to the mall and pick up like some jewelry. I know, but wine and on, jewelry, that stuff's that expensive. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, this was cheap. I mean, not cheap, it was affordable. You know? It's just oh, so tragic. Know. It's just so tragic, you know, that a creature this beautiful 
It's gonna be buried in newsprint, like it's fish and chips. What a tragedy. It's tragic. It ain't right. Back. Here. What? No, it's romance in a bag. Look, candles, body wash. Uh, you, 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 don't have, you don't have to do this. No, I do have to do it because oh, you know what? Thank you. True love. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. This saves the day. Yeah, well, okay. I don't need it. What do I do with this? I don't want it. Oh, dude, put that away. Come on. Wash it when I'm done. Keep it. All right. It ain't Keep for it. cooking it. It's just a receptacle for the funeral. I know. Thank you so much, oh, eh? That's just wrong, man. He broke his fibula, eh? Right in there. Sure. I'm sure he did. I love living in Oakville. Yeah. You know, it's really nice. And there's this great little bar I go to every Friday night, Big Time Blues. It's just sort of quiet oh, yeah. and nice. And the people there are great, you know? And well, why don't you come with me? You should come with me, that would be great. Because, I mean, it's so weird that we ran into each other. It'd be so great to just have one drink with you. You know, kind of like the drink we never had. The date we should have had. What do you think of that, huh? <laughs> I'd like to, but I can't. I... Ah, come on, Randy's not gonna kill oh, you. Come on, I mean, just one drink. I mean, leave the balloons. Wouldn't that be nice to have a drink with you, Kato? Yeah. I can't. You know, uh, Ellie? I, I, I don't think you can, you should go to that kind of place on your own. I mean, you know, TGIF, right? So, uh, well, I'll, I'll go with you if you like. Do you oh. want to go with me? Yeah, sure. If you don't mind. Sure. Oh, well, that would be nice. Great. That would be great. I played a little chess back in my day. Oh, really? Yeah. How did you do? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>